Thank you for viewing this brief demonstration of the ARS Yield Editor tool. In this video, we will walk through the process of taking raw yield data using the Field Operations Viewer, or FOV, by MapShots to convert the raw file into a readable format for the ARS tool. And finally, cleaning the yield file using Yield Editor. So here I have the FOV Viewer open, which is a free software offered by MapShots that allows a user to import raw yield data and export it out in various formats so it can be cleaned in other software. I currently have just the John Deere plugins installed, but MapShots offers plugins on their site to import data from other monitor types such as AgLeader as well. In this case, the yield data I want to clean came from a GreenStar 2 monitor, so I'll select that option, then click Next. Now the folder containing those yield files has already been selected and once they load in the FODB import wizard screen, I'm going to select my yield data and since three combines harvested the field that I want to look at, this field 11, I'll go ahead and select all three and click finish. Once those load, I'll see my field with the yield information in the FOV viewer. Now I have a few options on how I can export this data, but since I want to clean the yield data with the ARS Yield Editor tool, I'll click on the ARS Yield Editor icon at the top left, and this will export the yield data straight to that tool. So now we see the ARS tool has automatically opened with that yield data, and there are several filters on the left hand side that I can use to clean the yield data. The numbers that are showing in the left hand column are the default filter settings. So for example, by default, the tool is going to delete all yield points over 250 bushels an acre unless I change the filter number. And the nice thing is, as I look over to the right hand column, these red numbers show the number of yield points that were deleted for that parameter. So as you can see, most of the clean points were deleted because they exceeded the maximum yield threshold of 250 bushels an acre. And currently, the only filters that are turned on are the maximum yield and minimum yield filters. But if I wanted to further clean by filtering by the standard deviation, I can check that box and click on Apply Filters. And now it's selected another 73 points, as you can see here, to be deleted based on that standard deviation rule. In their most recently updated version, ARS added an automated cleaning expert tool that you can see at the bottom here. And in essence, if you wanted to clean this automatically, I could just come down here and hit Run Auto Filters. And this does a pretty good job of quickly setting the parameters for cleaning the yield for this field. But for example, if you have knowledge of the field, and knew there were areas that were near or above 300 bushels an acre, you might want to raise this number of the maximum yield to 310. If you did not have any knowledge of the field, you can stick with these automated cleaning. So I'll update that there and click Apply Filter to update the new maximum yield filter. And one of the real strengths of the Yield Editor tool is that it allows you to have lots of visibility around what is being deleted and why so you can see exactly which points were deleted by each filter. So if I click on the Show button next to Minimum Yield, all of those pink points that just appeared on the map are the 2800 yield points that were cleaned by the Minimum Yield filter, giving you a chance to review to make sure everything looks correct. This makes the ARS tool particularly useful when the yield data you are cleaning was part of a trial or test and you want to have an extra level of control during the cleaning process. Now I'm not going to walk through each individual filter here and what they mean in the video, but if you want more information about what each one does, you can reference our quick guide to cleaning yield data, which we have a link for in the description portion of the video page. Now one last feature I want to point out is that you can also manually delete a point or points. So say if I want to zoom in and delete an extra point around a turn row that looks abnormally high, I'll click on the zoom tool here and zoom into that turn row. And then in the manual editing tools, click the select arrow 
To select the yield point that I would like to delete, now you see that black box has turned around it because the yield point has been selected. So now I can click delete and that yield point has been removed. And so now that I have cleaned the yield data, the next step is to export the file to use in my farm management software. So I'll click on the Save Export File tab, select the columns of data I want to include in the file, and then I have the option to save as a CSV or a text file. I'll click on Export Data, name the file, and I'll save as a CSV which can be brought in to most major farm management software. Now that data is being exported for me to be able to use in my own yield analysis. Thank you for viewing this demonstration of cleaning yield data with the ARS Yield Editor tool. As always, we hope you found this on-demand video useful and happy yield cleaning.